Hey love bugs, it's Riles and Mega Chew one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs. My grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you feel like the videos, um, if you've been watching the videos for a while and have not already, Please drop a line if you haven't. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe and an uplift or insight that you feel like you truly need it, please go ahead and share. I'll be greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the video I'm about to do right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, through chaotic circumstances may trigger moments of weakness. Unknown vibes will move you towards strength. And it's true. You know, a lot of times we... Uh, go through different things in our life and we're always trying to see why does um, our life have to be so complicated why does things have to be so heavy why do things have to be so hard and these are the things that you know they're always you know universe is always telling us if you're a numbers person you will look these numbers up like when you're going through something or you're you're just saying oh am i in the right place am i you know i'm like putting in the right efforts and stuff like that next you know a number may come up and then you google the angel numbers and it's like a lot of times they tell you you know obstacles that you have creates character to be able to come uh, strong, these are uh, these are bettering you. These are strengthening you, and you're looking like WTF? What? The <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> these things are working on my nerves. It's sending me over the edge. It, you know, makes me want to jump off the edge. It makes me want to catch a charge. All these different things, and it's just like you know, universe is always guiding us to towards of seeing. You know, stop seeing everything that we face as a, a, a heavy vibration to define as a narrative you know trying to see the the, the possibilities the brighter per you know brighter the bigger picture the different perspective on what's truly taking place what is it needing you to understand that is in your life you know a lot of times you know they say if you hold hatred there are certain things that you feel disappointment of uh, disappointment about um uh regret anger confusion you know different things like that if you you get frustrated with certain things it's telling you how um you need patience if there's different reasons why you're getting loud you feel like you're you're not your voice is not being heard you're not being understood and these are the things that is highlighting you towards that that's where it's giving you your strength because it's uh bringing your weaknesses to um to the surface for you to really get a deeper understanding on where the healing needs to take place at the different things that take place in your life you know because right now we're we've been on that for a long time for us to be able to pinpoint what toxic patterns that we create maybe we think about you know negative circumstances in our lives that even though it's in the past you know people it could be people or situations that change these people aren't in your life no more but yet we are still holding on to those negative memories and allowing ourselves to do that and a lot of times we don't realize we're placing ourselves back in that vibration even um i had to learn like you had to not talk about it because you're you're living that you're you're bringing that existence of energy back into your life and they don't want you to do that you know, being able to see, yes, I went through this. It, it was hard, but then it showed me where my strength is. It showed me where I invested so much power in that I had to take that back. Being able to release the old energy that um, that I consumed in my life that, you know, that, that you know, put me in, in a state of confusion. It put me in a state of a weakness or made me feel worthless. And these are the things where it's showing you, hey, you need to call yourself back. Center yourself. You you are a powerful life source. You have a light that can never be dim. Nobody can't take your power. You can't. You nobody can't rob you of your peace. Nobody can't rob you of your strength. Nobody can't rob you from these different things. You know, um, that people can steal a lot of things from you, but it's just like that character. These things, a, a negative situation, a drastic situation, traumatic, it can create a character of a negative force life force or it can change you into a, a strong light force that you are not that force to be reckoned with and these are the things that you had to be able to face these are the things that you had to move forward in and be able to do you know um it is is calling you forth to be able to see what lessons were you needing to learn you know place forgiveness even when places it is it, not it's it's 
you know, it gave you an understanding, you know, especially if you're in a toxic relationship, you're healing through cutting cords of toxic cycles. Um, it, it was showing you where, you know, even through negative circumstances, there can be positive uh, outcomes. You know, it was just a choice on how you made it. You had to really dig down deep to it. You know, people tell me, you know, I'll tell people real quick. I got OCD and ADD. I've had my weaknesses, you know, tested against me. I, you know, I got pet peeves. My, you know, and my pet peeves was used against me. And that was just universe's way of telling me to disconnect from that. You know, um, people will try to control things with you to try to pull that out of you because that that's that vibration that they strongly connect with but at that same time it's showing you that that doesn't that cycle that vibration that that connection doesn't have to keep going you have that power to disconnect that and you can allow yourself to go through that healing you know i had to be able to look at different things in my life where i know i had to take my power back you know different things that um that I know that was uh, taking place that I knew it would trigger me. I had to be like um, these, you know, instead of me allowing myself to automatically put myself in that negative vibration, be able to say this is what is showing you what you needed to heal from in the first place. So when you start allowing to see these techniques, these uh, circumstances, these episodes, and being able to see this is where I had to have my healing from. You know, if somebody comes out their way to don't even know you, you know, and start insulting you or start, you know, like you're in, in line at, at the store and somebody jumps in, you know, jumps in your way and then cuts in line and stuff like that. It, it You know, anybody would be enraged. There's like certain people is like, I've been tested like that. And I'm just like, man, I'm not about to catch a charge. I'll snatch these little nappy head. You know, I was like that. But then it was just like, you know, it, it just so happened to be at the store where it was a friend of mine. They just so happened to be working at the 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 cashier's thing um you know the cashier's uh station and this is right where walmart when they had the self-service line and she see i was about to go in there and then the girl bumped into me it was like two girls and they went ahead of me and thought it was funny and i'm just like man the old me we were all been up in here skull dragging and everything else and then it was just like you know the girl was like Roz don't do it you know hey I'll get you over here cause you looking like I understand where you were coming from let me go ahead and check you out cause she wasn't even supposed to be checking nobody out she was just supposed to be helping people if like if they needed a a, a price check or they needed to remove something or something like that and end up working in my highest good you know from that but it was showing me where just because some people are like that you don't know what kind of upbringing they had you don't know how the ways they live that may be normal for them they probably normalize being rude like that but it's like never not allowing myself to take that personal just because she did me or they did me that way i don't need to come out of character and be ignorant like in that vibration and into that but that that was showing me it's just like the more i work on myself every day you know, and I see different things that at one time it would trigger me. But then it was just like for me to get out of that vibration of getting angry, placing myself in confusion. If I'm uh, in, a, in a vibration where I'm um, at peace, you know, even when I get aggravated, I draw myself back. It's like, hey, calm down. It's okay. You know, hey, this situation, you know, is, is, is trying to elevate you. This is that situation that's trying to get you in alignment. And you have to be able to talk yourself back. You know, it's just like if you, you know, you're ready to go off on a cliff somewhere and you, you feel like your life is ending. You feel like, you know, I'm tired of these diff different situations. And it's all about how we tend to deal with them. It's all about how we tend to react to them, how we tend to respond to them. Are, you know, are we observing what is going on? And sometimes you have to just breathe before you allow yourself to take the next step. You know, and that's just all about representation of you. I was that type of person where I had to have the last word. I always had to be right. You're not going to chomp me down. You know, I was very prideful. You know, it was like, oh, you don't embarrass me. I'm about to make you question your whole existence. And I would be that type of person. Now I'm just like, you know, oh, okay, you're having a crappy attitude. Okay. And, and you may have had a bad day at work. You may have gotten into it with somebody. You know, you may have gone through different things or whatever. You know, let me not take a personal ain't got nothing to do with me you know and had to be able to back that out and you know and it's just like a lot of times we don't realize if we think think like that through a lot of situations you know how much less conflict we will have in the world and you had to be able to do that so I am at that point 
when I see the change is going through, I'm no, when I'm nurturing my soul, I'm nurturing my peace, and want to be solid with that and be very, very aggressive with that, saying you deserve to be in peace. Don't allow something that's out of your control take you out of your peace. Don't let it make you come out of character. You know, this is that test for you to see how much you have grown. And then that's that way when you can look back and draw back and see how much you have grown because you know who you know who you are you know how you tick you know and it's just like I tell people real quick the devil knows you know the devil knows what can kill you off he knows what's get you get your gears in the rind and you know and it's just like even people you know um they do and these are the things like you're gonna be grateful for those moments that somebody try to trigger you because it's showing you where that healing needs to take place you're gonna be um you know grateful for when you see that somebody in that funky mood and they trying to bring that to you. You know, a lot of people do that. You know, they tend to project. They don't have anything to do with you. And you're like, oh, that's the type of vibration I'm really not going to allow myself to connect with. Okay. And you have to be able to do that. That's one where your healing concept is. Because if we allow ourselves to keep backpedaling and thinking about, oh, I remember when this happened. Or, oh, I remember this happened. We are allowing ourselves to relive that whole sequence all over again. And it's no longer existing. And that's what universe tries to tell us. You know, these are the situations. It wasn't meant for us to have a keepsake on allowing ourselves to keep reliving the tragic memories that, you know, may have put us on this path. You know, it may have created a purpose. This is something that opposed to kickstart that for you to be able to find something and um, create something else. You know, even though it started off beginning as maybe tra tragic or uh, drastic or detrimental, don't mean it has to end like that. It's all about the choices you choose to make. You know, sometimes, you know, certain decisions on trying to create a better life. Sometimes it is out of our, you know, out of our uh, uh, hands at times, you know, especially, you know, if, if it has something to do with somebody else, you know. Um, but most of the time when it, when it takes you as that person decide what best foot to put forward you know you'll see different situations as being a huge blessing you know um because it is it, it, it a lot of times it takes a long time for you to be able to go through so much healing to be able to see it that way you know um and just being able to move forward you'll be one day when you allow yourself to keep moving and keep moving keep healing keep healing elevating and just you know giving yourself that props giving yourself your spiritual flowers and saying you surpass the old person of you it you know even if it was a little step you congratulate yourself on that huge transition because i was just making that on my my podcast i just finished and you know some people feel like you're taking these little baby steps like man you ain't really did nothing and you is it's just like like a person seeing on the outside, you may not see the huge impact I don't put in my life, but I know how I used to move. I know how I used to talk. I know how I used to talk down to myself or how I see my life as everything was, you know, drastic. Everything was, you know, uh, straight demonic or, you know, straight negative. And I never had, you know, it was always formed in a narrative and not in me, not allowing myself to be able to see I was in a dark moment. That dark moment took me to the bottom of the barrel. I was in the belly of the beast but me going through that me, me hitting that rock bottom allowed me to look so much forward to the top you know because it took me to go to that bottom to be able to say this is not where my stepping you know this is my stepping stone but this is not where I'm planting myself you know you have to be in the dark for you to be able to embrace your light because a lot of times we want to be able to strongly connect to that light but we want to ignore that dark that dark you have to be able to love that you know, because that dark is leading you to that light. You had to go through something very drastic to be able to say, my life, does my life have to consist to be that way? No, it don't need to be. If you want to attract better, you have to do better. You have to be able to put in work. You have to be able to see where the changes need to take place. You have to be able to, you know, hear that truth, even when that truth is hard to digest. You have to be able to take constructive criticism if you know that you want better into your life. You'll know the difference between somebody talking down to you and there's somebody who is really looking out for your benefit. You know, of wanting you to be able to create better when people, you know, you want to be able to have that vibration when you even see, let me stop sleeping on myself. 
things are getting worse. It's getting hectic because Universal amp up some daggone heat when he, they see that you ain't moving the way you need to. And then when you get that moment and when you start going through, through that progressive phase into your life where you're wanting more. So when you're wanting more and you're seeing, you know, Universe is giving you those little snippets on this is how your life could be. It not, it's not the actual view but this is how it can start off or this is how it can be if you progress, if you heal, if you let go of what no longer show, uh, serves you. You're giving gratitude to every situation that has been placed, you know, into your life for you to be able to create better. You know, this is what your life can consist of, you know, because a lot of times we'll say we want that, but is the energy that we're we're placing to project saying I want this in my life I want my life to be prosperous I want my life to be peaceful loving you know um constructive you know productive you know but yet I'm not putting in work I'm waiting for the change to come hit my lap instead of me changing for that change to come in my place and then you get upset because nothing ever happened but then when you notice that you start pushing yourself even on the moments when you're tired you're still moving because there are certain things that you, you just know is not detriment is detrimental to your soul. You'll start noticing that. Because a lot of times we get upset when we're still in certain circumstances. We're still in certain chapters of our lives. And not realize that chapter is already leveling us up. You know, it's creating more. It's helping more. And these are the things that are just like, okay, you know, this is a benefit that brought so much structure. You know, it built me in so many different ways. And it makes me feel so grateful that I see in those dark moments. It made me feel so grateful uh, of seeing what I can do on my own when I had nobody uh, there to help me. You know, um, it allowed me to support myself even when other people weren't supporting me. It, you know, it allowed me to lift myself up when other people were letting me down. And these are the things where you're going to appreciate that because it shows you where your determination is. It shows you where your focus is. You want to see every single thing that you have gone through or everything that you um, that you are facing to use that as fuel to be able to create better. And a lot of times it's hard for us to see that because if you're not seeing that positivity and negative circumstance, sometimes it's really much, it, it, it's a lot harder to be able to get out of it because you're not seeing what you can create out of a, a narrative negative for a positive uh, placement, you know, kind of like that. You, you know, you'd be in place for a minute, but then it's just like when you get that vibration where you're hungry for something new you're not trying to stay comfortable at that elevation because you see that when I was determined to move out of this uh toxic vibration that I allowed myself to stay comforted to while I allowed myself to stay stagnant with I was able to elevate myself to create a lot more you know and I treat I appreciate the benefits that I faced with tragedies I, I was constantly connected to because that tells me it doesn't my life doesn't have to stay this way I can make choice to make my stuff better now if I try at every avenue and it's not working maybe that's my fate but then that means you know if I'm still determined and it's not changing I'm allow myself to either change my ways change my habits change the how I look at things how am I seeing the perspective am I am I uh, seeing the life lessons um, from what these circumstances has taught me am I getting my strength from certain things that gave me my weakness these are the different things where all the weaknesses is coming up is if it's a trigger it's showing you where it needs to heal if it's somebody that's doing it it's you know it, and it's so many different things is taking place where it's telling you to take control of your destiny you know take your power back in certain things that you you know you keep you know spotlighting or you it's hard for you to let go of they know a lot of times it's hard you, you know we get complacent at things especially if you're at a vibration that you've been at for so long and you say hey you had this epiphany <laughs> you know i want to change i want my life to be different that is not something easy because you had a vibration for so long you know and it, they 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 say all the time when things start getting uncomfortable it start getting disruptive because you leveling up you know, it is like moving up is not always going to be easy to do. It's not always going to be comfortable because you're not used to this vibration. This is something very foreign to you. But this is where they, they, they're telling you, hey, 
you know, get used to being, un- you know, get comfortable being uncomfortable. Because you know you want change in your life. Change is going to always challenge you. You know, when you're trying to stay forward, you're trying to stay positive, negativity or distraction is going to always be around you to see, are you going to stay focused on what's going on around you? Or are you going to allow yourself to be determined to stay focused on what you're trying to bring into your life? It's going to be days where it's not going to be positive. It's going to be days where you're going to be angry. There's going to be days that you just feel like, you know, things are not going to get better. I'm tired. It's going to be that way. But when you're allowing yourself to be honest with those feelings, you're not suppressing them. You're allowing yourself to feel that, you know, because they always tell you, don't don't suppress those feelings. Don't when when certain negativity, uh, certain negative aspects in your life come up of what somebody's done somebody's done or what you're embarrassed about what you're ashamed of that you have done that's showing you you know heal allow yourself to not feel shameful for these things these this these situations are creating a better person for you you you're becoming better if you allow yourself to see that yeah we have done things just kind of embarrassing maybe like tag that was real stupid move you know or different things like oh i should have said that you know these are lessons you had to go through if you never experienced these things you would have never known you know, a lot of times we hate that we, we we connect with toxic people or, you know, different things like that. If you didn't go through these things, if somebody was toxic that was coming to you, you would have never known. You've been clueless of what a toxic person uh, moves, how they move, what's their mannerism, what's their stature, what, you know, how they, you know, how they glamour different things, how they, you know, you know, you know, finesse different things to make it seem like a certain way when it's not. It's just their way in. You know, all these things you had to go through that so you'd be able to know what to look for. You know, being able to allow yourself to say, oh, this is just my, you know, even when you in in, in that glow up and it's nice, it's right. You, I mean, you finesse in the whole finesse like it is beautiful. And you at that vibration, now that, that's where God is getting you at. When he's like, oh, this is just temporary. Dad, this is good. You all this and that. But this is temporary. I want more. You, you, it is, I feel like it's good to be greedy of wanting to be more. Not greed as in being greedy, you know, with materialistic things. But you're wanting more in life. You, you're not just settling for just being right there. Even though you, you could be living comfortable. You're able to, you know, you got money in the bank. You, you know, you got a nice house, nice car. You're able to take these fancy vacations. You got your legacy set for your children. Nobody ain't got to want for nothing. But it's just like, especially if you have children, you want to be that go-getter. You want to be that entrepreneur. It's like, yeah, I'm right here, but I want more. I love when I see different people, especially, you know, during the pandemic. It was it was hard for a lot of people. You know, people like, shoot, them celebrities had money. But you have to understand, they had a lifetime style they wanted to maintain. They had to keep getting money, you know, because you sitting like that, you used to a certain way of living, and you don't want to, you know, get out of that. They're going to find different things to bring into their life to create more to have a you know to maintain that lifestyle that they want and that's where universe comes in and it's just like don't get comfortable at that vibration even when you're at your heights because the blessings of doors that i'm opening blessings of opportunities endless opportunities that i'm welcoming into your life it is going to create more but you have to make that choice to want more you know you're you're making the moves to create more you know, they're giving you different ideas that you, you know, if you want to collab on different things, you want to add towards different things, towards that next level, you have that power to do that. And when you're allowing yourself to do that, you you know, because it was just like I was talking about this. Um, I forgot. It was a video I talked about before where it was this chick that she was, I think she was a rapper or something like that. Prima Donna. I love Prima Donna because that girl is an entrepreneur. You know, she, she was on Love and Hip Hop Miami. I think that's where she was from. Then she had her own cookbook. Then she had her own cooking where, where it's like Wi-Fi activated. You know, she got her, her seasoning. She got her um, clothing line. I think she had a clothing line. She had waist trainers, all this. And I was laughing. I'm like, dad, this girl is on that. And she got, I got kids. I want my kids to not have to struggle for nothing. I want to show them how to grind, you know, be hustling, you know, because I don't think she had a, uh, I don't, I think she's that one. I don't want to quote on it. That she didn't have a really good upbringing. So it's like when she got that opportunity, she took advantage of it and she flew with it. And that's why I was like, you know what? That's goals right there. I ain't trying to compare my life to hers, but that's what I'm talking about. You bringing new ideas in. It's like, why should you, 
you know, focus on being just there when you can expand that into more. Universe didn't give you these experiences just for you to sit on it. It didn't give you this, you know, for you to not manifest your dreams. You are you are the co-creator of those. You know, you have your blueprint on what your what you want your destiny could be like. And if universe like, yeah, that's what we're talking about. We instilled that into that person, but just because that person went in hard, we're going to finesse that and bring some more things that can collab with that creativity that we done gave them. We're going to open new doors for that. They're going to have new qualifications. They didn't even know they're qualified for. So it's just like when you're going through these chaotic circumstances, it's triggering the moments of weakness, but I guarantee you it's going to guide you towards your strength. You, you're going to have strength in ways. You're going to have... Uh, attitudes of, of of strictness of you know if it ain't if it ain't uplifting me if it's not taking me to the next level if it's not prospering me if it's not bringing me joy happiness you know just positivity I don't want to touch it and you're gonna get to that point because it's like these situations that we're facing today is hard you know I don't know your situation you know I say usually if we go on one I'll be telling people I don't know your situation we get on one on one oh yeah I may be able to tell you something from point A to point Z to point you know B whatever and they'll flaw you know jaw drop you but you know but until then I know what my situation is I know I'm hungry for more I know I want more to be in my life I love what I do I'm very compassionate about that because it is not just to help me but for me when I can be in that vibration of where I can be transparent you know and tell people yeah I had good and bad days those days I struggled the days I wonder where I was getting my last dime from you know wondering when I was going to eat again you know having to do different things that was illegal you know got locked up or whatever just to make sure me and my children survive you know all these different things because it is just like I don't feel shameful for anything in my life those are things I'm not proud of doing but it created me to be a better person I don't feel shameful of my past you know those were things that I'm not proud of doing, but when I say it created more, it allowed me to be able to say, I don't got my skeletons in my closet. I'd be able to show you mine. I say, I may have a whole cemetery back there, but I have no reason to tell people, hey, that's my, I said, give me some flowers so I can put on my, on my headstone of a uh, uh, transition from a pessimist to an optimist, you know, struggling uh, in, in sewer rat city, you know, it'd be something like that. And I'm like, yes, I, I got these scars I got those you know those headstones but I've laid that to rest because it's like this is at my time I'm not existing anymore I'm allowing my love myself to uh, love experience I'm allowing myself to explore I don't want to be in survival mode I want to be a uh, you know I, I want to be that person that is okay with what is going on to my life because it made me into something I never knew I could be. And that's why I love what I do because it's just like, I don't, you know, I, I'm not worried about anybody judging me. I'm not worried about what other people are thinking of me or if they get me or if they don't get me. I know I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea. I know I'm not going to be liked and I'm okay with that. But there's going to be certain people that are going to appreciate what I bring to the table, what I say, what I project out because we all are going through things. We all are facing it. There's some of us that are able to conquer these things and there are certain people that are still stuck in that transition and trying to find their way out of it but when I can use my platform to say hey I, I can relate to your struggle there will be days where you put a smile on your face and it takes a lot I have to tell people I'll give you props just for holding yourself to, to, together today even when you wanted to break down you know you have had dark moments you don't went through some stuff and people won't even have a clue unless you told them you know and then the things when you open up and really tell somebody what you went through you ain't gonna be looking like you went through those things. And that was that that's the reason why Universe and God picked us for that. Because you're gonna go through some hardships and when you finally get where you get where you can share your experience with someone else that is trying to find their way, they're gonna look at you like, Dad, this person don't went through this, that, and the third, and they don't even look like that. You, me, other people you have gone through the impossible things that where it's hard to be able to come out on top on that. I mean, when you do, you really had to get grimy. You had to be able to roll them sleeves up. 
those days that you don't have major setback after setback after setback you took L's left and right left and right left and right but when you kept showing up for yourself you kept showing up even when things didn't look good even when it wasn't moving like you thought they were even if you ain't being seen you ain't being heard you seeing people surpassing you left and right left and right and you still ain't giving up on yourself that's gonna lead you towards the ultimate success you're gonna look back and you're gonna appreciate those down times you're gonna appreciate when you were doing things on your own you're gonna appreciate the times that you were just stuck and just felt like things weren't gonna make it out for you because you stayed consistent you stayed uh you stayed to that point where you got uncomfortable just being in a situation you knew you were no longer needed in and you put in that work for that and you didn't got determined with it no matter what was going on around you even if things was really like ticking you and you just allowed that to be fueled like i'm gonna keep on moving <laughs> I'm going to keep on moving because this right here is about to take me out of my balance. And I'm not going to allow it. I'm determined to keep forward. Because this stuff on the sidelines ain't, is very unnecessary. But I appreciate what they stood for. You know, those are your platforms of promises that you can surpass different things. And you're going to be grateful for those different triggers. You're going to be grateful for those things that people put you in or try to take you out of. You're going to be grateful for those things. Because it made you be very determined to create more. You know what you deserve. You know what you need to have. You know what kind of doors you want to have open. You know what person you're trying to be. And you know what pinnacles of levels you're trying to reach. And when you stay that way and you be consistent with yourself, you're going to blow it out of the water. You're going to be making the devil nervous by the changes you take in place. He's going to hate your ass for it. Because he's like, this is the reason why I want to take that mother out in the first place. Because of this stuff, I knew that they were going to get tired of doing you about to make the devil nervous on the stuff that you about to do. And you go ahead and congratulate yourself because you need those flowers. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all don't know when it's going to come out. If it's going to come out during the weekend or during the week of next week. But wherever it is, I hope you stay prosperous, stay blessed. Whatever you're working on, I'm sending you so many beautiful vib vibration of leveling up. Because you do, do deserve that. Whatever you're working on, it may feel like you ain't doors ain't never open. I'm sending you that energy to stay persistent, stay consistent, no matter what is taking in place some days you're gonna have to do stuff when you're tired sometimes you're gonna do the certain things that you can't stand to do but that's what happens when you sacrifice to become better so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video y'all like i said i didn't get a chance to respond to your to your comments yet so i do apologize for that and be like dad you got enough time to be making video look when universe got me to start speaking on some things hey i just do what i gotta do and i'm going to get you so much love to you peace you know um Oh, yeah, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below as well as my link to my podcast. I just uh, uploaded uh, two podcasts today. I got to share the second one on, on here. Well, by the time y'all get to this, there should be a few of them on there. So, you know, I hope you're able to uh, get those two there on Spotify. I got my own channel over there as well. So, you know, much love to you. You know, stay consistent, be persistent. You know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, by frequency. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.